Hi everyone, this is Missy with Pinky Loco, and today I'm going to be reviewing this flying ball. I bought this for my son, and I haven't given it to him. i got to figure out how to play it first, and um, he doesn't know I have it yet. So every once in a while, when he does something really good, um, like get all of his homework done when he gets home, or cleans up without us asking him to clean his room, he gets a little surprise. We don't do allowances, so this is this is kind of the when we think he deserves it, we'll give him something fun. Uh, this is you can see a flying ball, fourteen and up. Okay, and easy to use infrared induction ball. It blows air out of the bottom. That's why. Um, how it flies. The propellers go off. It bl does blow some air below to keep it up um, if it's getting close to the ground. And the propellers lift it up. There's three of them. I've got the top one. And it's like a disco ball. What I think is funny is up here it says 14 and up. Down here it's a warning. Uh, not suitable for children under the age of three. So I think that is kind of funny. But this is really cool. Uh, first off, you're going to want to charge it. It's got USB on one side. And I don't know what this end is. Oh, I was thinking it was a different one. But that's something else. Okay, here's where you charge it. There's a little hole. You just you just slide it in there, wait till it's charged, and then you can play. The on-off button is right here, and you just push it in to turn it off. On, I mean, and then to turn it off. So let's get it back on. Now whoop! There's no way to control the direction. It just flies up or flies down or right into the wall. And immediately when it hits something, it crashes. It's pretty sturdy because I've crashed it quite a few times. <laughs> so let's see here if I can do this one handed. I don't think I'm going to be able to. The, the, um, Uh, control. You push it once and it flies. You push it again and it starts heading down. Woo! There it goes. Ooh, ooh. See, that's exactly what happens. <laughs> so <laughs> once it hits something, it crashes. However, if you're in an open space like outside, you won't have that problem. Let me see. You're supposed to hold it straight up. So let me do this with my foot, maybe. I had it going so well earlier. And... Oh! Yeah, we went to the kitchen. <laughs> so, let's find it. There it is. Right in the corner. House may not be the best place to play with this, or maybe in the basement where you've got a lot of open space, but this is kind of fun for me. Hopefully it'll be fun for him. And we'll do it outside too, but, whoops, and click, okay, click again. What's going on here? Ah, there it goes. <laughs> anyway, you can see it's a lot of fun. <laughs> I would advise you to do it outside so that you can control it a little bit more. I haven't figured out how to, if there's any direction whatsoever, um, out of this little controller. Um, but 
and I don't think there is, so. But it is fun. It takes a long bit. If you click it twice, then it starts going lower. So maybe that's just the ticket. That's what you get. But it is fun. Oh. That's under the table. <laughs> okay, don't have sewing pins as you're trying to do this. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you like it. It is a lot of fun. So, whoops. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this. I'll leave a link down at the bottom so that you know where to get it if you want one. Uh, I think the price point is pretty good on it. So, um, anyway, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And thank you for watching the video. Have a good day. Thanks.